Hi, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today we're going to go ahead and um, start to uh, steam some peaches. Um, our second tree actually started having them a little bit more ripe, but the birds and the bugs were starting to actually attack them. So I wanted to go ahead and get those pulled. So my husband got those pulled. We have probably a good 100 pounds. I'll show pictures at the end of this video. But what I'm going to do is over on my stove, I have a steam canner and I have this bowl of water. And what happens is you go ahead and you put this on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the first round of peaches on here. And I, this thing works like, like a hemostat or whatever. It, it doesn't allow the juice to come down, but you still want to have this kind of like up so it doesn't um, get everywhere. So I'll go ahead and turn this on medium. Now this is going to take a good 45 minutes. Maybe I shouldn't have put so many. A good 45 minutes to go ahead and start to juice down. And um, I will bring you back once this is going a little bit further. But this works very well. I've been doing, um, sorry about my hair, I just got out of the shower. It's been a long day with processing stuff in the last couple of days. But um, I've done the the grape juice and our apples are really small. It's the third year, I believe, that um, we actually have some apples in our apple tree and they're really small. They're too small to peel. So those will also become apple juice. So I'll bring you along on the process and then what's going to happen is when these get done and they go into a quart jar, then I'm going to go ahead and um, steam, ba uh, steam can those and make those shelves stable. So I'll bring you back once all that's happening and I'll be back. All right, there is actually some uh, juice down there. Let's see if this is enough to get this started. I've been noticing I've had to actually tip this forward a little bit, which gets very heavy to do. And this is peach juice. Now I'm going to be taking the lid off here in a little bit, and I will go ahead and <clears throat> um, crush down some of the peaches to actually get as much of the juice out of this as I possibly can. I don't know how many quarts I will get out of this. This is kind of stopping for right now. Um, so what's going to happen is when I crush this down some, then what's going to happen is it will actually create more. And I'll bring you back when more of this is actually done. So this is another one of my batches. And once this actually gets cooked down a little bit, I just take my hamburger smasher and break up these peaches to go ahead and release more juice and then of course then the juice will come out the bottom which I already have part of the video showing alright this is actually seven quarts I have three more pints right here I actually have more going and I have some more in the refrigerator so that's about half of my um, peaches, but yeah, I have a lot of work ahead of me, but that's a lot of juice. So thank you very much for stopping by. Have a very blessed and wonderful day.